Look, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. It's really not that bad, man. Okay, so some of you guys wanted to know is Quintana Roo, for example, Playa de Carmen, more specifically, Mexico. Is it safe? What I'm going to tell you guys is what is most likely going to happen to you, okay? And I'm telling you right now, the, the gang-related stuff and shootings, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen, but I'm saying that it's, it's rare. It happens, but to tourists, you're most likely going to be safe. And it usually happens to people who get themselves involved in all that. Now, I lived in Quintana Roo for tres Años, okay? Three years, almost up to four. A couple of more months, maybe two months, it will be four years here in this uh, state. And I have lived in Puerto Morelos, which is a very small town, for two years. And now I am in Play de Carmen, which I've been living here for two years as well. I've also been to other parts of Mexico, like Mexico City, um, some other cities I don't even know how to pronounce their names and I've forgotten, but <laughs> I'll put it on the screen, okay? And I can tell you my experiences in those cities, I felt relatively safe, you know, even in Mexico City at night. I didn't walk into like the bad areas, of course, and I'm aware of that, just like America has bad areas that you don't want to walk into, you know? Like Detroit, for example, I really want to explore abandoned buildings, but my friends tell me all the drug dealers live there, you can't go there, Martin, they rape you. It's not like the stuff that can happen to me here wouldn't happen to me in the USA. It can also happen to me in the USA, and to be honest, I've actually felt more safer here than I have been in the USA. For example, when I went to Houston and I went to the mall, I don't know why I felt so unsafe in this mall, but I did. Now, what is most likely to happen is that you were either going to get ripped off or scammed or petty theft. Those are the things that are most likely going to happen to you. I've got seven things that you need to look out for to stay safe when you come to more specifically Player to Common. Okay, ATM machines. If you go to Player to Common, watch out for the random ATM machines in Fifth Avenue, these other streets. They're not attached to any banks. These are the ATM, ATM machines that can get fiddled with. People play with them, put things in them. Next thing you know, your credit card is in there and they have all your details and they can use your bank details, etc., to purchase things online. So there's things like that that can definitely happen to you. And you need to be careful with that. So that's why I really recommend to go to a bank and use their ATMs. Never use those ATMs on the street by themselves. I will also say I have used the ATMs in like OXO and stuff like that and I feel that they are safe nothing has happened to my bank accounts or my money using those ATMs the next thing you need to watch out is car rentals okay if you rent a car take photos take a lot of photos of everything okay the back the front even underneath if you want um, inside because there are some people out there who know they're gonna take advantage of the situation they find out you didn't take photos or something, and then next thing you know, there's a scratch that you need to pay for. So they end up charging you for the damage that you didn't even cause. So you gotta be really careful with that, especially some companies that take your bank card details, etc., and they end up charging you even though you didn't do anything. Finally, has also something to do with their insurance, and they can get money that way as well, as well as the money that you paid for, so, I'm not too sure about that, but you gotta be really careful because that can happen. Everywhere I've traveled, I've always take photos of the motor vehicles that I have. So if something does happen and they accuse me of something that I didn't do it, I have photos there to prove. So always make sure to do that so that doesn't happen. Next thing is alcohol. This is where people fall down the trap of drinking alcohol that is under-regulated and you just get drunk off one thing or someone puts something in your drink and you get taken advantage of or you are drinking normal alcohol and you are just not a responsible adult and you decide it's the best idea to get drunk overseas in a country that you have never been in and you get taken advantage of. So alcohol is, me, I just don't drink alcohol, period. It's not really good for the body. But you guys got to be really careful with that because things like that does happen. And you just, 
So when you get alcohol, make sure you get it from legitimate sources. You know, those people on the street selling alcohol, be careful with that. Some of them even try to get you tipsy so you can buy more alcohol. That happened to a friend of mine. They lured him with, oh, have a free shot, have this, have this. He's taking shots. Next thing you know, he's tipsy. And he bought all this money on a big bottle of alcohol he didn't even need. So you got to be careful with that because they will do that to you because they need the mola and they need some sales. So they're going to give you some free shots knowing that you're going to get tipsy and not be a responsible adult with your money <laughs> and buy some liquor. The other thing you need to watch out for is that a lot of people who are selling products or selling things on the street, they will usually give you a very high price, okay? Or they will sell you a product that's not even worth what they're selling. They make it look all pretty. I've seen this on Fifth Avenue. I bought headphones and it wasn't even that good. They broke so early, so you got to be careful with that, okay? And some of them try to make it look like they're from legitimate businesses, but really they're not, and they're just trying to scam you. Be careful with people on the street that are selling you things. You dabbling in that is just going to put you in situations that you don't want to be in. I have had friends who bought some stuff on the, on the street, and nothing bad happened to them, you know? But still, I, that person knew who my friend was when he came back on that street. And I'm like, now you got yourself like mixed with these people. I don't, like this is not good. Even if it's weed, because I know in America you guys love that. And in some states it's legal to smoke that. Here it's not. So you guys think like, oh, they're selling it to me and stuff. They're tied to other people. You just, I'm just saying, be careful with that. The next thing is pickpocketing. And... I just really recommend that if you come here, be careful with what you wear. Some of y'all be coming here to show off. You got your blingage all over your arms, your, your damn ch Cuban chains all over your neck and stuff. You need to be really careful with that because once you do that, you become a target of one scammers and some pickpockets, okay? You know, and just dress casually. Don't try to overdo it. Don't become a target. So that's what I do when I travel overseas. I don't try to overdo it. Sometimes I do an accident, but I try to keep it casual as possible. Maybe sometimes rough sometimes, you know. And I really recommend to get one of those bags that you put in front of your body or uh, like for you guys that have that. Always wear it. At the front, never have it at the back because you'll be surprised how quick some of these people can be. And I've had this behind me once, not purposely, just, you know, I've been comfortable and nothing has happened to me, you know. But there have been stories, for example, people getting distracted and someone getting into their purses, taking money. So you do really need to be careful of that. Overall, honestly, I feel really safe here in Play the Carmen, for example. I've walked late at night through the streets. I didn't go anywhere that I felt weird or didn't feel like I should be going these dark alleyways. Nothing has never happened to me. My personal opinion is that, yes, I understand that things do happen. Like, for example, in Tulum, there was a time that it really wasn't the best place to be. And there was just bad things, things that were like consistently happening to a point that five of my friends left that city um now i believe now they they're back and it's it's died down but there was a time where they didn't feel it was safe there was a lot of things happening and when you feel that when you know about that you're you know and you don't feel safe then yes i recommend follow your instincts always and leave that situation but overall, my time here, I have felt really safe. I do know when I watch YouTube and news con consistently talking negative about um, these towns and talking about these gangs, etc. I know I have let that fear take me over once. And I was like, oh my God, I don't feel comfortable going here. Like, th it took me a long time to move to play the Carmen, okay? And then when I finally moved here, I was like, oh my God, it's not even that bad. What do you think though? Let me know in the comment section below. If you live here in Mexico, let me know what things you have gone through because I'm sure you have stories. My Mexican friends always have story, but so do my American friends, you know? There's also a lot of stories and bad things that happen in America, especially at schools these days. But hey, if you've ever been to Mexico, what do you guys think? And has this video changed your perspective on Mexico? Do you think you ever come visit? I, if you live in America, you have to come here and visit. It's really amazing. The people are nice. The food is good. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video next week.